Hi, John Elite here. And today, in this video, we are going to talk about a topic that you'll never ever believe. LMS, skills, and game are three separate categories. You're like, there's no way there are three different categories. Yeah, I'm telling you. You're like, no way, no way. It's either looks money status in game, or it's all skills and value denying. There's no way it can be three categories. And I know a lot of you out there are very, very depressed. You're so depressed, get your thumb out of your ass and fucking pay attention because there are three secrets I'm gonna tell you that will change your life. The very first secret is, yes, they are three different categories. You're like, there's no fucking way. Because sometimes people will say it's all looks, money is status plus game. That means, what about the naturals? The naturals before that had social skills, social calibrations, and emotional control. So how does this work? So for them, it's either LMS plus game, or it's all skills and value denying. But John, that's confusing as hell. I don't fucking get it. Of course you don't fucking get it. Because your thumb is so far up your ass that you're so depressed and you're so brainwashed, you're so gaslighted. Let's look at the fire hydrant. This is the best I can draw at the moment. So imagine all this is water, looks money and status. And the fire hose is the game. It's redirecting the water necessary to get the women. And depending on many circumstances, if you were Indian guy who's a negative stereotype or an Asian guy, we're not talking about Indians that look like tall black guys. You know, it's not what the guys think or other guys in their own ethnicity. It is what the women thinks. It is what the women thinks. And they may not be that culture. But regardless, everyone has a different standing. This is why I talk about race. So that means we start with the race, natural, perceived natural status. And then we talk about the looks. You know, height and everything counts too. Muscles, V-shaped shoulders. And status, great. Okay, we know that, John. We know that. So that's about here. That means whenever you try to SMV it, like an RSD victim, what happens is it's just not enough value because your value may not be here. Your value may be right over here or here or below. That means no matter how much you try to use your fire hose for game, so you're saying, John, all this time, it's really just people SMVing their looks, money, and status. Game is just a way to DHB or a way to transfer their value to the women. Every flirt, push, pull, every one of those things. Every single thing they do is just to vibe their existing value. And some women or some fires gets put out. You're like, holy shit. So what the fuck are these categories? Well, guess what? This is the big secret. This adds more value. You're like, shit, so this can actually move things up right here, see that? If you can master your emotions, you're very comfortable around women, and you're very chill, it's not emotional impact. You can't vibe this SMV by impacting it like that. That's a bullshit concept. If you have a dead fish vibe, like some of the students that are virgins, they have this very strange vibe, a very depressing vibe towards women. And if they vibe that, they're not going to put out the fire. It just gives me a headache just thinking about it. This adds more value. You see that? By working on emotions. So this is what they call skills. You're like, shit. So this is skills. So all this time when you get these guys saying like, oh, yeah, it's not like a game. Pickup is a game of skills. It's a game of skills and a pickup. Well, yeah, okay, sure. So do they have any emotional intelligence? No, they're vibing their SMB. Do they have body language? Maybe a little bit. Do they have social skills? No, they have social skills. They have no fucking social skills whatsoever. Zero. So therefore, they're calling it skills. They're really calling game skills. Or they're just saying, oh, it's all skills. But here's the problem. Because they already have enough value over here. They already have enough height. They have enough race. They have a cool lifestyle. You're a DJ, you're a club promoter, you are a music producer, you're a rapper, whatever the fuck. Yeah, this already adds a lot of value here. This is enough. Or at least enough to put out 10% of the fires. Maybe not enough for all of the fires. 
the only people that can put out fires for their testimonials are mostly 95% white students on Tinder. Who gives a fuck about Tinder? Nobody counts Tinder testimonials. Nobody. That's like, that's like a very pathetic, sack of shit way of boosting your testimonials. When we talk about pickup, pickup, <laughs> I'm not saying lifting people. Tinder is not pickup. Tinder is a fucking food app that you press buttons on. My students are working on social skills, social skills flow drills, and elite access. And for those who have Elite 30, get Elite Access so you can work with me one on one. And if you're afraid of the fucking COVID 19 variant out there, guess what? Practice at home with the flow drills and get some feedback. I'm willing to analyze like 10, like 10 seconds of your flow drill practice. And when you do that, I know exactly what the issues are. Exactly. It's so easy for me. I have a good analysis. It's so fucking accurate. You can see the other students, which you'll see in the future, a Filipino student and a London student. One in field analysis, fucking gets laid. Or pose. Second one, he gets laid. London, one in field analysis, oh my god, so many fuck buddies. Number two, even more. Five some. Third one, bang two models, got one girlfriend. That's a model. And these are Latinas. These are Spanish Latinas, and these are way hotter than any of the other dating coaches, Latinas. But my students work on this area. That's why they have enough water to put out the fire. You're like, fuck. So they're saying it's all game. They're denying the value. So that brings us to number three. Value deniers is perceived natural status. They might say, oh, you know, like everyone thinks I'm this race that I'm born with. The answer is, fuck no. Nobody thinks that. Let me ask you a question. When you first saw them, did you automatically thought they were the race that you thought they were? Or did you think they were a different race? You know which one I'm talking about. Most of you are like, okay, it's a different race. Yeah, that's right. We all thought the same thing. Until they opened their mouth and then you know their backstory. Then you kind of made the connection. But that's just the thing. Women have not made the connection. They only see the initial SMB. For example, let's talk about my old roommate, Indian guy, my friend. He looks like a Latino. He's light skinned, fair skinned, and tall and good looking. But he's in Mexico right now and nothing happened to him. He's not kidnapped or something like that. So nothing bad happened because he looks like a Latino, but he's Indian. And you look at the last testimonial that was posted by that Indian student. They think he's also a Latino but more like a Puerto Rican type in the United States. The women do not know. So therefore, his natural status plus the whitewash fashion boosted his looks. I'm dressing a little bit blackwash today, so don't mind me. It's just, even with all the mirror picket. What was the initial impression? And women may not know what it is because women may not be cultured. They're not cultured. They don't know what the fuck that race is. Sometimes women don't even have the money to travel. They don't know about other cultures. So whatever you show up as your initial impression is your actual perceived natural status. No matter what they say, they, so what? Somebody in their own race may recognize them. Maybe they knew the backstory of who that person was, but it doesn't mean everyone knows. Some of my students look like different ethnicities, for example, during the summertime, my skin gets darker. People mistaken me for being Vietnamese. You're like, what? The yeah, that really happens. I get mistaken as Vietnamese, so my SMV will vary and change. When it's colder, I look like a Japanese person to some people. I always get mistaken as either Japanese or Vietnamese. But wait a minute, John's Chinese. Well, if I'm Chinese, then how come the women don't know? They have no fucking clue. They never guess I'm Chinese. And I'm glad because that will lower my SMV. I could just tell them I'm Japanese or just let them assume whatever. But being whitewashed, although I'm dressed blackwashed today, being whitewashed just solves a lot of problems because you don't fit in the out tribe, you fit in the in tribe. So whatever values they deny, for example, height, which adds to the evolutionary psychology, or they deny their race, you know you are taking the half-truth pill, the poison pill. Because whatever they deny, the small pieces, are the pieces they're using to gaslight you.
So that's a big secret. It's not looks, money, and status plus game, nor is it all skills. Well, their value deny all this other stuff. No, it is really a game of looks, money, status, social skills, which is getting so many of my students' results. Social calibrations, body language, elite 30. Emotional control, not emotional impact. Now look at how much water is here. If we were to score all of them out of 10, or out of 20 out of 35 is the line you need to get over. This is out of 10, looks is out of 10, right? So 10 here, money is out of five. You're like, why is money out of five? It should be out of 10. No, oh, fuck that. Because Asians have a lot of money, not all of them, but some of them, that's not good enough. Asians have money, but it doesn't mean they get the white women because of money. But it does help to dress a little bit rich. Status is out of 10. This is a combination of your natural status and also your lifestyle. Exotic advantages, you know, high status. This stuff is harder to pull off, but there's many different things, cool lifestyles. There's many, many things that goes into this. Even a foreigner money and status advantage, depending on where you live. So over here, social skills is 2.5. Fuck. Okay. Wait, you say it's only 2.5 for social skills? That's right, because it's going to make 10. Social calibration is 2.5. Emotional control, 2.5. So you're, wait a minute. John, without game, which is 2.5, right? So without game, this area right here, these three already gives you a 7.5 out of the game category or the other category, it's the last category, the full category now, which is all this stuff. You're like, whoa, shit, it gives you more water. That's right, because nobody knows how to do this because they're autistic sociopaths. I am not a sociopath, I'm not delusional. You have low self-esteem and most dating coaches, they sound like robots because they're autistic. So what's happening over here is that you need to work on these skills. And for some of my students for social skills, it takes months. You're like, what the fuck? Why does it take months? You shouldn't take like a week at most. No, it takes months. They don't fucking get it. It's that hard. I can't even explain what social skills is because when I try to explain it to these Autistic sociopaths, SMV with more water. They're like, is it like game? You just like, is it like a minimalistic game? Is it like a, 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 you know? No, you motherfucker. It's not. Well, anyways, for those out there who already have my products and you want to practice at home, you should definitely consider getting joint elite access. I'm going to put a link below. That is the new course a lot of students are getting laid in. And think about this way, before they release their courses, you gotta think about it this way. Did their old courses even work for COVID-19? No. My old courses did, all of them. <laughs> so what the fuck? It works. Their stuff does not work. And the reason why it doesn't work is because it's just funneling you to a boot camp, which is where they make all the money. They want to confuse you on purpose. And from there, you could have got laid here for a fraction of the price. A fraction. Let that sink in. And maybe wait and see if their courses work. Wait three months or something. If they release a course, and who knows? There might be many courses being released in the future. Wait three months to see if any students get laid from it. If nobody gets laid from it, and they you automatically want a boot camp or something. No, no. Maybe, maybe you should see, first of all, whether or not it leads to testimonials. If it doesn't lead to testimonials during COVID-19, then guess what? COVID-19 changed the game. The name of the game now is all social skills. And you're gonna be at a big disadvantage without Elite 30. You'll be completely at a disadvantage. So that's all I gotta say.